Vaughn is my son. He's 17. He has a diagnosis of autism. Christina is my daughter. Um, she has special needs and she's legally blind and she's developmentally delayed. He goes to Malibu High. Um, straight A student. He's nonverbal, but he works with a facilitated uh, communicator. He's great at math and he's great at science and he's just the miracle of our lives, you know. And she's gifted. She's a musical savant. She plays the piano beautifully. Um, and she enjoys life and she's happy and that's who she is. <laughs> Being a parent of a child with special needs, you get there's this moment where a bomb is dropped on your reality and it explodes pretty big. I think that a lot of families with children with special needs feel very isolated. People that have a disability, it's like, wh wh where can they go? You know, where can they have camaraderie? You know, what activities are there? You know. So to have this program is really nice and it makes the families feel like they're included and they're not the only ones that are living this life. This makes it more normal. Hand in Hand is a very unique and special program that is not available everywhere. It incorporates integration of young adults with special needs and their peers who don't have special needs. I actually heard about Hand in Hand when I was with um, Molly, who's my other friend here who volunteers here. And the first question I actually ever got to ask her was like, what are her favorite things that she does? And she said, first thing was that she volunteers at Hand in Hand. I'm currently a junior at Pepperdine and I've been helping out with Hand in Hand for the past two and a half years. We get to uh, communicate together, play games together, craft together, sing together, and just build a really strong community. We go on field trips. We just went to Disneyland last week. You know, things that are, you know, part of our daily life. I don't know. It's more than just the activities, you know. It's a camaraderie. The level of care and focus that Lisa and Janet put in and Cantor. Everybody loves it. It's not like we're forcing these peers to come here and be here. They come because they want to be here. I get to, like, in a way, see the world through their eyes and see the delight that they have and the gratitude that they have. The smiles that they have are so contagious and have just really changed, um, changed my life for the best. And I, hand in hand is the best. That's how I would describe it. <laughs> Christina loves hand in hand. She looks forward to coming here every Thursday. And when they're on break during the summer, she's always asking every Thursday, hand in hand, hand in hand. He really looks forward to it and the programs are diverse and there's always stuff going on and, and he really looks forward to it and it's a, just an ultimate blessing to have Hand in Hand so close to home in, in Malibu. She loves the cooking sessions where she gets to eat what she's made. We often make food for homeless shelters and stuff like that. She loves the music because Cantor always puts music into the program and she gets to sing sometimes by herself with the microphone. She loves the microphone. Anything music, huge, uh, the singing, big, 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 big part of his life. There's some therapeutic stuff. I know they do this great thing where they, they get blankets and they donate them to the, the, uh, the, the, the shelters. We do community service events. Just last week we put together gift baskets for kids in the hospital. And we do this thing where it's this process where we tie off knots, you know, and just sort of make the blanket look pretty, you know. But he's gotten very proficient at that. And, and his motor planning was, I don't want to say useless, but pretty not where it needed to be a couple of years ago and now he's you know he's got it after making 30 blankets or at least five. Some of the special events that we do throughout the year um, are the hand in hand dance. That is so much fun. They have a DJ come, they decorate the whole synagogue and it's just they go all out. They roll out a red carpet, they have pictures, they have food and music, and it's just so fun. We also have the All Abilities Fair, and that is also just another just huge celebration. They go all out. They have dancing, they have crafts, they have food. It's basically just this big celebration. Yeah, it's really fun. It's wonderful that I found this. It's wonderful that she comes. It's wonderful that they've opened up, 
you know, this program to anybody in the community. It's, you know, it's here at the Malibu Jewish Center, but we're not Jewish. You know, it's open to any denomination, any faith. Seeing these Pepperdine students come in and be a little timid on that first week and then get paired with someone who, you know, maybe can't talk and can't walk and to then see them come back a couple weeks later and begin this bond and then to see them at Pepperdine talking to people who are on a tour group, someone in a wheelchair, they go right up to them or they get a door, you know, they're not afraid of those interactions anymore. It really is powerful to see. One of the happiest things I've done is you know, making time for Thursday to you know, pick him up from school and to, to get him to a place where he wants to go, you know. I think it's just so important to be able to be that voice and say, hey, you matter and you're making a difference in my life. They've done infinitely more for me than I've ever done for them, so I'm truly so grateful. They have a specific ability to love on us that other people can't, and that's like something that I think the world needs to discover. Uh, it doesn't it always start with more love, just more loving, you know? More loving, more compassion. Be a whole different movie.